Now, this is something that if this happened to my child, I would be so angry. And if my child had any disease coming from these people, I don't know what I would do. You understand? Because when you send your kids to school, you don't send them to school to get diseases. So you had a letter that went out to parents letting them know that 1200 students in the Seattle area have been exposed to diseases such as hepatitis and HIV. Now you imagine you you getting a letter about that in relation to your child. Now this was from 12 school based dental clinics. So you had neighbor care health provides the operation of the clinics wrote a letter to parents that some dental hand pieces were disinfected, but not heat sterilized. Why are you even doing that? It's supposed to be sealed up in bags using new equipment. Why are you messing around? You know, you take taxes to help pay for different services, but that's when you're trying to cut a corner. So they say it may lead to bacteria and bodily fluids from patients getting caked into the crevices of the instruments. Isn't that sick? So they said that the students in Seattle were potentially exposed prior to March the 4th, while kids nearby in Vashon Island may have been exposed between September 17 and March 2018. And to neighbor care, which hold the instruments, stated they were clean with cavicide, a surface disinfectant. But the product labels claim that within two minutes, it can kill microorganisms linked to HIV, hepatitis B and C. However, the staff did not put the hand pieces in the autoclave, which is a chamber that cleans equipment by exposing it to pressurized steam, which is required under neighbor care policy. Now they stated that the agency says the issue was discovered on March the 4th and has since retrained school uh, based dental staff on proper hygiene practices and they offer free testing for all the students that's been affected. Now, I mean, just imagine this. Now they talked about hepatitis B and C or liver diseases caused by hepatitis B and C viruses, respectively are both commonly spread from bodily fluids or from exposure to contaminated blood or needles. They talking about HIV. Okay. Now them people know the schools that was affected by this, just in case some of you who watching that's in the Seattle area, uh, Bailey Gazard elementary beacon Hill international chief stealth. I'm sorry, South international Denny international, Highland Park Elementary, Madison Middle School, Mercer Middle School. Um, you had a Van Asselt Elementary, Roxy Elementary, and West Seattle Elementary. And Vashon Island, you have a McMurray Middle School and a Chautauqua, if I'm saying it right, Elementary. Those of you from around that area. Now, they stated back in 2013, a mother of three, Yesenia Pacheco, sued the clinic after the staff gave her a flu shot instead of a birth control injection. Why in the hell are they still in operation? You don't know the difference between birth control and a flu shot? I mean, really? But this is something that's very, 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 very dangerous. They stated that this is not the first instance of patients being exposed to blood borne disease because of substantial hygiene practices. They said last week, all three locations of Triu Family Dental in Philadelphia was closed out exposing more than 1,500 patients to hepatitis B, C, and HIV. You guys need to research, research, research before you go to any dental practice. You really need to research who you're dealing with. People write reviews all the time and anybody that's doing anything in school, I would suggest definitely let your children go to doctors outside of the school and make sure you research those dentists and they don't try to cut any corners because people will tell on doctors or dentists or whatever you got online. They will flame them or they will praise them. So please do your research. And you know, if you got any of the letters that say state your child could be um, exposed, make sure you get your child tested independent of them. I wouldn't trust them to test anything. I wouldn't trust them to test uh, my dog, get independent testing. And then you start getting your lawyer together and suing and God forbid your child has hepatitis or, or, you know, HIV, God forbid that. But that is very, very upsetting. It's very, very upsetting. And, you know, definitely the city and the district needs to be held accountable for what happened with the children. But leave me a comment. Let me know think about this particular story. We got to be careful at all times. I tell people that public school system, 
I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the public school system because there's too many incompetent people running it, people cutting corners, treating children any kind of way. That's why I'm a big advocate of you know creating uh, our own schools. I'm a big advocate of homeschooling because you just don't have those problems when children have private education or homeschooled.